everybody, it's Lavita from La Vida Loca, and I'm making this video today because I got this super cute guy. This is my new Moundfly backpack. He's the Toy Story Alien Pizza Planet backpack. And I was torn between this guy and Marvin the Martian, but when we saw that this guy's actually holding his pizza box, that was it. That turned us over. So if you're not familiar with Loungefly, these are pretty sturdy little backpacks that are great for walking around in theme parks. Um, they're really stiff on the side and they hold a lot. Most of them have a little um, pouch in the front and then some side pockets like this guy has here that some folks fit in. Sometimes I put my mask there. Um, and then they have big roomy insides. So, and they have very cute little zipper holes. This one is a pizza. So you can see he has this little front area and that's about big enough to put in a wallet. Um, sometimes I put my wallet in there, sometimes I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do it in this one because this one zips really easily. My other one is a Critters, which you can see right there. It has a really stiff zipper so it somebody would not be able to slide it without me knowing but now that i'm sliding this one i can feel i'm not going to be putting my wallet in that section um but the main section is huge and roomy and all the lounge flies have um printing on the side which matches the backpack nice soft padded straps and so um i'm going to show you some of the stuff that i put in the park whenever i go to like disney or we have an upcoming trip to Universal. And then my home park is Fiesta, Texas. Um, so some of the things that you'll see going in this backpack I don't need very often in Texas, like the umbrella. Although this year it's rained a lot more. So um, this is just a little mini umbrella. This one is actually a Beauty and the Beast one. Um, I chose this one because it's dark and umbrellas are good in the parks for two reasons. One, obviously rain, but also sun. It makes a huge difference when you're standing in an outdoor queue or having to walk around like an Epcot if you've got a dark colored umbrella just for shade. So an umbrella about this size will fit inside your lounge fly. The other thing I have, which I sometimes use, sometimes not, is one of these neck straps that you can get wet and then they cool you off and that fits in there. This I actually use the most as my device for when it's hot. And I got this off of, um, Amazon and it's just a little fan. This makes a huge difference. Um, this was about $10 on Amazon. And I like this one because it actually comes with a little carry case. Otherwise I feel like it would get really messed up in my backpack. Um, of course the wallet. Um, when you're going to parks in Florida, you're gonna need a rain poncho. Make sure that you pack one. It is gonna rain every afternoon, no matter what the weather says. These are super cheap at the dollar store, but it's gonna cost you $10, probably more if you forget and you have to buy it in the parks. And then they're so small, if it rains and you're done with it, you can just toss it if you want to. It's gonna be hard to put back in there. Um, other specific things, I have a straw. Um, this is one of those portable straws. My husband has one too, and it just expands out. It has the little cleaner is inside of it. And it also has a device where it'll snap onto a D-ring if I feel like going through all that. Um, I also like to have a spork. And this because a lot of times you'll get the little plastic fork or spoon and it's just too weak. I like this thing, it's really sturdy. It came in a pack of three for $11. I got them off Amazon, very strong. Um, then this guy, I got mainly because he's cute and Chip and Dale are my favorite. My co-host has joined us. This is Dexter. He's giving you his best side right now. Um, but this is where I keep my pennies and quarters in case I see a press penny machine. I don't always keep this with me, it's kind of heavy. The other thing, hand sanitizer. Um, my husband just picked these up at the corner store. I have one, again, my favorite Chippendale, and then I got this Tweety Bird from Fiesta, Texas. Um, I put a D-ring on this because look at what my new little Pizza Planet guy can do. He'll hold it for me. Um, okay. So 
this is just my baggie of odds and ends. It's got fresh socks in it in case my feet get wet because nobody likes that. Some tissues, some shout. It's got some extra of the paper masks, which are a little bit more comfortable. I have a little some moleskin in there, just to remind you, you want to have moleskin in your suitcase and some moleskin in the park. I have this little contact case holder. Now, I don't wear contacts, but you can fit a couple of pills in each of these. And so this is a really handy, super cheap way of carrying pills around the park. A couple of Tylenol, maybe some um, Zyrtec or something. If you're gonna go to Florida and you don't live there, you need to have something for the allergies, especially in the springtime. So all that stuff's in my baggie, goes right in the backpack. The other thing I have is the portable charger and a wire. Nowadays, especially, you're gonna need that, not just because you're taking pictures and you're on social media, but now all the different parks, Universal, Disney, Fiesta, Texas, everything, you have to be able to get on your app constantly. Um, you can see I'm struggling a little bit now, but it's just because I was throwing things in the pack randomly. And then I would choose something from that to put in the front. So a few more things that you need to have in your bag, of course, nowadays are masks. So I got these super cute masks. They're off Disney. They go on sale, off sale, because masks are going up and down. Again, Chippendale is my favorite, but what I want you to see is this little strap. Now I can't take credit for this strap because I got the advice to get one of these um, from AJ on Disney Food Blog. But this, especially nowadays where you're like mask on, mask off, mask on, mask off, this thing, your mask just goes right around your neck and you're not having to put it down on the table where it gets dirty or where did I put it? Oh, it's in my bag, it's in my pocket. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Now I don't want to pick it up. It's just right there on your neck. And then whenever you want to put it on, just bam, you hook it over your ears, take it off, bam. So you're going into a, a queue, it's hot, it's right there. And then once you get inside where you hit the limit where you're supposed to put it on, no problem, you just put it on. Um, these came off Amazon in a pack of 12, like that little strap. You can see I have most of them are out in use so I'm giving them to people at work or my family. These things are a lifesaver. Um, so that's pretty much what I have in my pack. I just want to point out to you a couple of these other bags. One is, golly, excuse me, pardon me. This is not supposed to be that kind of video. This is a family safe video here. So here's my other lounge fly pack, which again, same dimensions as this one. They are um, 10.5 by 9 by 4.5 inches, and they fit a lot. The other thing I got was this Minnie Mouse Tropical, and it's a cooler bag, so that would be nice if you were gonna go, like say, get uh, one of those rum drinks and a massive pineapple and watch the fireworks on the beach at the Poly. You could keep a couple of cold water bottles in here. The other thing I got is this massive backpack. Now this one came, um, I bought a bunch of stuff on Disney, and so this big backpack came with that. I got it for like $15, because I bought, you know, you buy so many stuff, get free shipping on this backpack for $15. Um, it is too big, in my opinion, to be a park bag. I tried it once at Epcot, it, and it just felt massive and clunky. Um, but it does fit a lot of stuff. I have used it for an overnight day trip to hotel. It's a canvas side, it's not sturdy like a lounge fly. But it's a decent backpack and for $15, I have no complaints. Um, so I want to show you a couple other things that can be useful in the park. So this is a fanny pack. Yes, I'm not thrilled about going back to wearing a fanny pack, but when you go to Universal, there are several rides that you can take your stuff with you if you have a fanny pack but not any other kind of backpack. So if you want to get through the lines faster and don't want to deal with their lockers, even though they're free, and, and you're there for ride day, I'm just ride, ride, ride. You want to have a fanny pack on. Um, there are a couple of rides where you can't take anything at all, including your phone. They make you go through a motion detector. I think that's the Hulk and Velocicoaster. I'm not going to be a, an expert about that. I got this all advice from the Pew 2. They give you a lot of advice about Universal, if you're interested in that. But a fanny pack. This one is just a little one I got off Amazon. 
water fly, um, $15. It has this little compartment, another compartment. I like this one because it has a zipper compartment in the back up against your belly for the stuff that you don't want stolen. The important part is if you're getting a fanny pack because you want to be able to carry it on the rides at Universal, it has to be a three-prong fanny pack. If it's not a three-prong, if it's a two-prong, they're not going to let you carry it on. It has to be a three-prong fanny pack. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to show you that I got where it's just me and I'm at my home park, Fiesta, Texas, and I feel like I'm just going to run in, run out. If it starts sprinkling, I'm just going to go home so I don't need a bunch of stuff with me. I got this little over the strap carry case for a telephone and um, it's really nice. It just pops on like just like that. You just pop it on with the little elastic. Now it does get in the way of the camera a little bit, especially on my Android phone, which is not the phone I usually use, but it also has a little um, pocket in the back where you can put cards. Now, usually I will put this on upside down so that the cards are against the back of the phone so that nobody can get to them. Um, this is, it's real nice just over the shoulder. This is super, super handy. And um, this, I think, is going to be really important even when I do have my backpack because nowadays, like I was saying, all the parks, Fiesta Texas, Universal, Disney, they all are depending on the app. And now with Disney coming out with the uh, Genie, on top of my Disney experience, that's going to be even more important. And because I think we're going to be on our phones. Of course, I have no intention of being on my phone all the time, but it's nice to have it handy when I do want to get on my phone quickly if I just have it right around my neck on this strap. Um, and then it has like little clips so you can actually put other things on it if you wanted to. Um, let me see. When at, on the di, on the genie, I'm not an expert about the genie when it what, but when it comes out, there are going to be AR lenses which will be similar to Pokemon. So I'm really excited about that because we had some very cool pictures back when we were all doing Pokemon. I have one of my very good friend of mine sitting with a little Pokemon in her lap. So I'm hoping that'll be things like that and we can take pictures. You know, maybe I can have a picture with Chippendale like right there. Um, and then also it's going to have some audio like audio stories as you walk around through the park i don't know what those are going to be i'm a little bit hoping it's going to be kind of like having molly from all ears in my ears and that would be fantastic so um i think this strap is going to be very handy just two more quick things to show you um our lanyards are back there we have a bunch of different pins not just disney pins we've got all kind of weird pins um these are my ears I got them off the internet because I really wanted the Coco ears and I couldn't find them anymore. The other thing I'm going to show you is just pins. And so these are about half of the pins that I got because um, I wasn't trading pins before. So I got a starter pack off of eBay, but they're pretty good pins and they have like the real Mickey Mouse on the back. And so this was a, is a really cheap way to start. I shouldn't say cheap affordable way to start pin trading. You get a whole bunch of pins right off the bat and then you can just go ahead and do your pin trading. So um, that's what I have to show you today. And um, we'll be putting on more videos about not just theme parks, but other places where we have fun, crazy things at the house. I will probably frequently have a guest host. This one is Dexter. I have many more in my crew that you'll meet over time. And of course, my brilliant husband slash producer slash cameraman who's back there. And so we will see you guys in the park. Say hi if you see us. Bye.